Hello. It's Benji. It's snowing again. It's like February 16th or something like that. It's President's Day. I'm getting real uh, cabin feverish. I mean, I haven't really left. Uh, I haven't left since uh, last month. <laughs> I don't mind, I mean, I keep busy, but this last couple of weeks has been driving me crazy. Plus, I just got over a cold, and I don't know. This has been the loneliest winter for me, really. I, uh, I don't know, I just sad and I no longer have G with me he's he's fine he's happy you know uh, but I had made the decision to that it would be too much being on my own when I got sick again and there's no fence and yada yada so but I I have noticed my own kind of progression or I'm not really as afraid as afraid of my shadow as I used to be meaning the obvious of death I mean that fear has been there for a long time but for whatever reason the last couple years it was really pushing hard on me you know maybe just the harsh reality of life or I don't know maybe it was just more my fear of venturing out into my own I mean I left living with my best friend my brother you know and uh, chose to come back here into this fucking weather to dive back into all the bad memories. I mean, when I was a kid, all I could think of was leaving home. And, and when I was, oh shit, how long have I been here now? So when I was like 32, I made this decision to move back. I, mean, I, I moved away when I was 18, 19, moved back, moved away, moved back, moved away. But, I mean, I was gone for like 15 years. And we come and visit, and we leave, and we'd say, man, next year we're going somewhere else. And then my bro got married, and I just kept thinking, what am I doing with my life? Who the fuck am I? I'm not working. I can't work. Or it's very fucking difficult for me to find a job. And, and I mean, let's just backtrack all that. At that point, I mean, I could barely get up out of bed. I was having lots of stomach issues so half my morning was spent in the bathroom you know it was I was unhealthy moving here I had my struggles the drinking the depression the anger every year here has felt like a different emotion that I've had to to deal with, to, to conquer, not just deal with, but to, to fucking find a balance. Last year, I think it was, I, mean, I know it was dealing with my anger, but at the same time, I was so fucking serious, it just weighed on me, and it took away my sense of humor. 
I hated it. I hated who I had become in that sense of that I was burying a large piece of who I am. And that was my positivity and, and my sense of humor, which I've said before that my sense of humor was just a, a what do you call it, a defense mechanism. And my positivity was just, well, just me trying to not fall into that deep, dark pit. And now here I am, I'm in a home, my home. No G, no family, just me. Me and my thoughts. And uh, it wasn't easy. I mean, I was happy. And then I felt fucking sad because I was like, oh, you got a home. You got a permanent base of operations. Now what? I mean, I don't know. Listen, I'll admit, I like my me time. And as an artist... And it has a disabled person that it takes, you know, a lot longer for me to get around and do things. Having my own home and living on my own allows me the time to do what I need to do and do, you know, I don't know, whatever. But at the same time, obviously, I, I wish... At this point, I had had someone to settle down with. And she's still out there somewhere. So in the last couple of weeks, especially last week, while I was sick, I mean, I got a cold, lasted over the weekend. Uh, I still having some issues with the fucking hives. I was a little worn out. But you know what? I wasn't defeated. I wasn't just laying there, unable to move, unable to get up, having to have somebody pick me up. You know, having to use two canes around the house. I, I just so much. I was so, so fucking weak. So weak. I mean, you guys will can never fully understand what it feels like to be in this body. And then I think these last couple of years really, it's like I, I was blessed and punted and cursed with, with, uh, how do I say it? It's like one day, all of a sudden it felt like I used to be strong used to be normal and then now I'm weak as opposed to living with us all my life and it made me sad it made me feel like I was being defeated I mean it showed me the reality of, of where I could very well possibly end up I mean it's more realistic to say that I'm gonna end up in a wheelchair or, or weaker or whatever than it is to say I'm going to be able to run or walk upstairs, you know, easily. or I don't know. You know what I mean. And uh, I think that just came from the fact that I never thought I can get any weaker than I did. Very, very weak. And I can't begin to describe how difficult it was to take back the strength strength that I did take back. And so now, it, I, today, today I feel good. I still having some trouble getting around. 
in the house from from the cold. Uh, but I can move, you know. I can. I can. Uh, I can get myself around, and I'm not ready to give up yet. And this year, this winter, has been quite a testament to what I've always felt, and that's that your state of mind has a large large uh, job in, in keeping us healthy and strong. The snow keeps coming down and and uh, my spirits keep coming up. <laughs>